Hello, humans. Welcome back to the study of the Bible in chronological order. It is written in Genesis 4.19, Lamech took to himself two wives. The name of the one was Adah, the other one was Zillah. Lamech, who descended from Cain, took for himself two wives. Now take notice that he followed the same sinful pattern that Eve had done. He saw, he desired, he listened to instructions that did not come from God, and then he took action and committed sin against God's design. Now, though Scripture describes the event, God does not prescribe polygyny or polyandry. There is a difference between acceptance of that polygamy and approval of that polygamy. Now, to define marriage, we need only to examine the original design where God gave Adam only one female who came from his side in order to complement and complete him. Marriage should be defined as a covenant between one male and one female, both being of a proper age of maturity that would enable a mutual consent to a lifelong partnership that is designed to unite the two as one in a committed relationship of equal service in love. The union of the two as one should not be detached, divided, disconnected, or divorced unless death separates them uh, or the sin of sexual immorality defiles the covenant and creates a chasm between the commitment that would cause division. The monogamous male-female union that was introduced in Genesis 2, 21-24 is the only model of sexual behavior consistently praised in both the Old and the New Testaments. And Jesus said, well, Jesus will say later in our chronological journey, in the beginning, they were created male and female. In addition, Jesus said that a man will leave his father and mother and will become one with his wife. So marriage was clearly identified as a union between one male and one female for one lifetime. Furthermore, Jesus specifically mentioned father and mother. Why? Well, because father is male, mother is female. <laughs> no living thing until God made woman was capable of becoming one flesh with man. In Genesis 2.18, God pronounced the absence of woman as being not good because it left man alone and incapable of accomplishing God's purposes for humanity in his world. Scripture conveys marriage as being closely tied to procreation, and biology confirms this. In addition, we must realize that the design of marriage as one plus one equals one, this is an image of humanity in relationship with the one true God with the church being with the bridegroom, Jesus. As we can see in uh, the book of Hosea, which we'll talk about later, and Ephesians chapter 5 as well. And if marriage is a picture of our relationship with God, then multiple wives or husbands would be the same as humans being able to have multiple gods. However, Scripture is extremely clear. We are to only be in relationship with one God, in commitment, in loyalty, in faith. Thus, God's design for marriage was disregarded and broken when Lamech chose to be unfaithful to his first wife by taking a second wife. And just as God eventually permitted divorce due to a hardness of heart. That's what Jesus will talk about later. God also permitted polygamy for the same reason. It's a hardness of heart. Now, God allows our free will. But again, the fact that God allowed it to happen does not mean that God approved of it. Another reason God may have allowed it, though, was due to the fact that a woman's value... Uh, Back in that ancient time, a woman's value was largely unrecognized. Women were typically viewed as property. They were usually unable to provide for themselves because men owned and controlled everything. That's just the way it was back then. So in light of this, 
God might have allowed multiple women to be under the umbrella of one man so that they might at least have provision and protection. So while definitely not the design nor the ideal, living in a polygamist palace might have been better for females uh, than the alternatives. Prostitution, slavery, starvation. So, however, the decision to disregard God's design, it produces it, many problems. <laughs> Multiple partners always creates conflict, confusion, identity crises, and it, and it leads to idolatry, as we will see later on in our chronological journey when we examine the lives of Abraham plus Sarah plus Hagar, or Jacob plus Leah plus Rachel, or even Solomon plus hundreds. Any addition to God's design is a subtraction in quality of life and a division of loyalty, which ultimately leads to multiplied problems. You're welcome for the math problem. If you are a male and you have a wife, are you loyal to her alone? If you are a female and you have a husband, are you loyal to him alone? Do you love your spouse with the faithful and loyal commitment that, that God has for you? Listen, knowing that Lamech's sin against God's design originated from when he first saw and desired that other woman. What can you do to prevent yourself from stepping into the phase of desiring what does not belong to you? Until next time, all of you who are committed, loyal, and faithful children of God,